Welcome back to the Handcraft Tailor Academy. In this uh, series, we're going to be dealing with the men's bespoke trousers. So the first thing I want to do is uh, just sort of just talk briefly about the tools here. We've got a uh, 12 inch uh, French curve, which we're going to be using for shaping the fly. We've got a hip curve, which we'll be used for shaping the hip, the inside leg, the waist and so forth. And then we've got our all important L square. This is what we're going to be using to work out our calculations. It's also helpful to have a grading ruler as well, uh, just for, for having to work out um, calculations and uh, drafting, drafting and squaring your lines. So we'll jump straight into it. Now to shape the hip, we're going to place approximately uh, 17 and a half inches here at point 11. Now what you're doing here is you're bringing your tool over until it hits the construction line here. And it's gonna join point 11 to 10 to nine. What you don't wanna do is bring it beyond that construction line because you'll end up creating a whole lot of extra hip shape that we really don't need. So the next step then is to trace off the uh, top side. So across the waist, around the fly, On the hemline. And what I'm doing here is uh, well, I'm flipping the pattern over straight over so I can work out the spring of the pattern because obviously as you come up the leg it gets wider as you come up so I don't want it I don't want it too narrow down here so I want to get the right amount of spring on it not too much and not uh, not too little so using the pattern itself to work out the spring um, works really well so I'm just matching it up here uh, or the just the bottom of the side seam and bottom of the uh, inseam and then just chalk it out Now, chalk the hem. Something I discussed in the, uh, the coat making series, but if you haven't watched that one yet, uh, when it comes to your board, I use, these are um, plywood tops. These board, they're unfinished plywood tops. And uh, they actually grip the cloth very well so it's not so uh, whenever you're chalking it out and uh, the cloth is intended to move if you're using a slick top table like you're I know if you're using your dining room table at home and it's a varnished top to it uh, the cloth will actually slip and slide and it's very difficult to get the, tr the chalk to transfer over uh, so what um, cutters tend to use are board cloths so generally something like a, a piece of like drilled cotton or denim or something like that and placed or muslin or something like that placed on the table and then the cloth you're actually the cloth for the job sitting on top of that and that'll give you the grip that you need so now for the belt loop style this here is lovely it's just the right width for the for my belt loops it's what i'm cutting off of here Make sure that I have everything. So put down my, you know, then my underside first. So I've got right undersides check. It's there. Top side. Yep, check. Got that too. And then we go pocket facing. Uh, strap and buckle. Uh, facings and jellings and then fly pieces and bearer it's all there and then the rest of our fit up 
and I just fold that in. Set that on it and I roll the little thing up. <laughs>